to you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last few days, we put the spotlight on the ground situation in Manipur, which remains extremely volatile. So much so that the centre has reimposed AFSPA at least in six police station jurisdiction. But that hasn't really had any impact as of now. So much so, 50 CAPF companies have already been rushed to Manipur to control the situation. Where lies the problem? In fact, for the first time, N. Birin Singh, Chief Minister of Manipur, who is in the dock right now, has finally spoken. Listen. The present crisis, the root cause of the present crisis, should understand by everyone. The root cause of the present crisis is begin from where? The beginner is him. Yes. The present crisis of Manipur the illegal migrants' problems from Myanmar is the beginner is the peace in Dublin. You see the photograph here. When he was the Union Home Minister in 2008, he signed a suspension of operation agreement with the state government of Manipur and the government of India representative, and he welcomed it. He approved it. Mm. But you know, this pers particular person who involved in the signing, Mr. Thangen Pao Guite, he himself was con contested MP in Myanmar. Mm. And he is a Myanmar citizen. And he is the president of the Zomi Revolution Army. You see, you think, mm. in 2008, he allowed to bring a Myanmar is citizen inside India and signed a suspension of, uh, uh, of operation agreement with the India government and the Manipur government, tripartite uh, agreement, then that was the beginning of coming of influx Ill illegal migrants from the Myanmar. Mm. The present demographic imbalance in the state of Manipur the central leaders should try to understand it. Yeah, our BJP leader no. Our BJP leaders understand it. But the Congress leader, they created it, even then they are trying to blame to the people who is trying to solve the issues. My duty is, I have to protect my state, I have to protect my land, I have to protect my country, I have to protect my people too. Our indigenous people is very limited, very few, not not much. Nagas, Maites, Thados, Paite, Mar, we are very few numbers. Only hardly our population might be 30 lakhs. Hmm. But you know, if after this hanging, huge number of Myanmar illegal migrants, has entered. If I'm not wrong, in 2008, so you opposed the signing of this agreement, tripartite agreement. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, the member of the cabinet. I uh, opposed it. But you know what we can do there. So, if I ask you, since 2008, has the Sioux agreement served any purpose? I don't see any changes thus in the hills, particularly the particular area community is dominating. Plantation of poppy increasing day by day, drugs smuggling increasing. Illegal migrants entry of uh, grabbing our land, destroying the forest, that increasing. That are the few things. But you know, Manipur is a unique. We are having 34 tribes. Very unique. 34 tribes, you know. Here, Paiti is there, Waifai is there, Mari is there, Thado is there, Mate is there, Tangkul is there, Mao is there, Maite is there. No, like this. We are composite of 34 tribes. 34 tribes 
living together since time immemorial. But unfortunate part is due to some, due to these some illegal migrants from the outside. Now Manipur has facing a demographic imbalance. That is why I approach to the Union government to save our land and uh, life of the indigenous peoples. So, uh, by these divisive politics that the Congress wants to play in Manipur also now, they have been doing it in Maharashtra, they have been doing it in Jharkhand also, clearly taking side of the immigrants in Jharkhand particularly. And now in Manipur also, they want to divide the people on the ethnic lines. Uh, what purpose they really want to serve? And do you think that the government of India should actually initiate action against PC Dambaram because in his capacity as the Home Minister, he signed an agreement with a man my citizen. Exactly. Exactly. Thorough investigation, proper documentation and the screenings of who's who should be done. 